Good morning, I'm Ekwin. Today I'm going to show you how to make Thai red chicken curry. My version of Thai red chicken curry is super easy and super yummy. It takes no time to prepare and it's absolutely full of flavor. The cooking procedure is the same as my Thai green chicken curry recipe and if you haven't seen it yet, the video and the complete list of ingredients is on my channel. I'll leave the link below so that you can check it out. Thai red chicken curry is a perfect comfort food. Once you learn the simple cooking procedure, I guarantee you'll make it again and again. So, let's get started! Good morning, I'm Michael and welcome to Weka's Kitchen. Here are the ingredients. 400 grams of chicken thigh or chicken breast, cleaned and cut in bite-sized pieces. 2 cans of straw mushrooms, drained and cut in half. 5 pieces of kaffir lime leaves, washed and slightly torn. 1 green or red spur chili, thinly sliced. 2 tablespoons of fish sauce. 1 and 1 half teaspoon of palm sugar. 3 pieces of Thai chili, chopped. 3 tablespoons of red curry paste. 2 cups of coconut milk and a cup of chicken stock. Add 3 4 cups of coconut milk into a wok over medium heat. Stir continuously until the coconut milk is reduced and very thick. When the coconut oil starts to separate from the coconut milk, add the red curry paste and saute. Mix until the paste is aromatic and has thickened. Add the chicken thigh and mix well to evenly coat the chicken with the paste. Add the chicken stock and mix. Add the remaining coconut milk and mix again. Add the fish sauce, palm sugar, Thai chili and kaffir lime leaves. Then put the lid on and let it simmer for 10 to 15 minutes or until the chicken is fork tender. Other mushrooms. Mix and cook for another two to three minutes. Now you can taste to adjust. You can add more fish sauce as needed. Turn off the heat and we're ready to serve. Thai red chicken curry is great for lunch and dinner. I like to pair this dish with jasmine rice and it's also great to serve with pita bread or a pillowy naan bread. Another great thing about this dish is that you can also substitute mushrooms with bamboo shoots. Just use about 300 grams and slice them thinly. Serve immediately and as always, enjoy! Thank you for watching! If you like this recipe, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. And if you haven't already, please like and follow my Facebook page and subscribe to my YouTube channel so that I can continue to provide you with insightful videos and delicious recipes. If you have suggestions or questions about the recipe, please leave me a comment below. I would love to hear from you. Thank you for your support and I'll see you guys soon. Bye!